What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I will be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. If you guys have not been playing this game over the past few days, you know it's been pretty difficult. I know some of you guys have been struggling. I've been struggling myself too. It's not really that much of a fun game. Like right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's not really much of a fun game. It's pretty challenging because several of the PC players out there, or, or maybe just, a, it, maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of players out there know where you are regardless of perks. I mean, I have the ghost perk on, I have that silence on, and they still know where I'm coming from. I mean, it's pretty difficult when you have, uh, you know, the the silence of the footsteps along with ghosts in the same per category i mean they'll know where you are regardless so it's pretty difficult if you're planning to get this game i'm telling you right now multiplayer has been quite of a challenge for everybody not just me but everybody out there playing this game you should know that it's a it's a complete sweat fest right now <laughs> it's pretty freaking bad i mean you can just imagine how it is for warzone yeah those warzone players came over to this game and pretty much are leaving a whole entire oceans of sweat all over the goddamn place but yeah you know right off the bat i'm gonna tell you guys like it's not for everyone i think it's a completely mess of a game right now compared to what it was to modern warfare and of course cold war was also similar so um it might be in the same level as cold war is it bad as cold war to be honest cold war had a lot of problems this game is above it but not above modern warfare i think modern warfare is still the, the best one so far over the past five years so um anyways let me tell you guys something about the maps they're actually pretty good compared to what it was from modern warfare and cold war uh the maps in those two games were completely trash especially on release date for modern warfare modern warfare was piccadilly yeah that that's just a no for me that's a complete trash bin kind of a style they released i don't know what the hell happened over there i just feel like they just puked and that's a map right there <laughs> so i don't know what happened to modern warfare but this game has at least some good decent maps especially das house i'm not sure if that's how you say the name uh das house das house or just call it dash house um but anyways that map is actually pretty good the small one the smallest map in the whole game is actually pretty fun to play i'll be showing you guys some gameplays about it like in the next few days because i actually did pretty good um i managed to get like 90 kills and some other one with 60 kills and five deaths or something like that pretty awesome map i liked it a lot because uh well everybody just keeps on going through the same hallway i'm, I'm just like mowing down people with my lmg it's pretty crazy a lot of people recommend shotguns and everything i recommend the lmg and you'll see later on in the week how i managed to dominate in that map pretty easily within lmg so um anyways so does this game suck overall i'll just say that like i said it's very challenging it really is because a lot of people know where you are uh, most of the weapons are not bad to be honest i think they have a lot of potential but most of them need buffs and nerfs i mean the stg yeah needs a little bit of a nerf or increase the the uh, the recoil because it's so insane how i can snipe with that gun in several of the large maps and it does a lot of damage and consistent damage too so it's insane how the stg works also the mp9 uh pretty strong from close range combat but i think it's okay-ish it's just like maybe a tiny nerf um it needs a tiny nerf you know i don't think it needs a buff but uh what other thing most of the guns need a buff bro like i feel like i'm just shooting a bunch of pebbles or a bunch of gummy bo gummy bears out of my damn pistols and smgs so right now i feel like the assault rifles are the one to work with because they're stronger and they can actually reach you know a lot of enemies out there pretty easily which is why i'm using this gun in the background which is an assault rifle and i kind of wanted to treat it out as an smg and it's working pretty well so uh yeah a lot of the smgs need buffs man the type 100 the other ones uh the sten the sten is completely ass man do not use the sten it's so bad the type 100 barely keeps up with like with some other ARs, and that's about it. The MP9 is pretty decent, but that's about it. The rest of the SMGs completely suck. Uh, the assault rifles, they're all good. It's just that you gotta unlock most of the attachments. The LMGs are a little bit too weak. Uh, they need all of them need buffs. The S, the uh, sniper rifles, I think they're decent. I really don't have any problems with them. There's not a lot of quick scopers in this game. Um, the pistols need buffs. The um, I think that's about it yeah pretty much the marksman rifles some of them needs a little bit of a buff too and um i don't think i'm, I'm gonna mess around with recoil but i think most of the guns need buffs man like around 65 percent of them do need buffs um what's another thing the kill streaks are not that bad to be honest I think they're fun to use uh some of them of course they're annoying but if you know you would expect that from a kill streak they're for you 
to pretty much you know farm a bunch of kills so i got no problems with the kill streaks i mean i've literally got the flame nuts so many times this whole week it's insane uh it was so, so fun to use to be honest i wish i would have gotten the regular juggernaut like a long time ago in the old modern warfare games because they have heavy lmgs and all that stuff so um it would have been fun a long time ago but right now with the flame nut uh, i guess so i mean but it's a flame nut i mean he has a big ass flamethrower just burning people down it's pretty fun to use so uh, i've been using that most of the time and there were several of my gameplays that i do get on uh what else what else what else i think that's about it i think that's about all i wanted to talk about today uh you guys missed out on playing zombies recently i think it's not that good <laughs> but i'll make a video about it later on in the week and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that video too so that is it guys i want to talk about today so that this game this, this game suck i want to give it a 6.5 out of 10 so far in the multiplayer side it's very challenging a lot of the pc players know where you are which is pretty weird i don't want to claim that they do have hacks or anything but it's just pretty freaking weird that most of the players know where you are um so would i recommend this multiplayer game or this game in general no i don't i don't think so i think wait till christmas till it's like in a discount and just buy the game when it's like 20 dollars or something because it's very difficult right now i'm telling you and i'm a i'm a decent player and i'm telling you it's it's a difficult game right now so anyways make sure make sure you guys check out my funny lobby moments it's back and after it's been a longest running series ever dude like it already has 10 years old so uh make sure you guys check out funny lobby moments so you guys can have a little bit of a laugh it's a bunch of angry people in that video so that is it guys leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and i'll see you guys later